Goku, after finishing his training as God of Destruction, went to the Saiyan's planet of Universe 6. Arriving there, he ends up meeting again with Kaba, who was training in the mountains. After a brief conversation, Kaba decides to take Goku to the King of Sadala. The King is surprised to learn that the Destroyer is now a Saiyan. King Krista, not containing his curiosity, challenges Goku to combat. Episode 8, The True Power of a God of Destruction The episode begins in the Saiyan's planet of Universe 6. At that moment, the God of Destruction, Goku, is in the palace of the king of the planet, Sadala. The atmosphere becomes extremely tense after Krista asks Goku to fight against him. Krista wants to find out the difference between his power and the power of a God of Destruction. Kaba, watching this, was starting to get scared, dreading what was about to happen. Bado says to Kaba he looks nervous and asks if he's worried. He explains, I'm not worried about the fight, but I'm looking forward to finally seeing the power of King Krista. Bados asks why he used the word finally, and Kaba explained, very few people know about this information, but King Krista is the oldest Saiyan on the planet. They say thousands of years ago, when he was just a child, the planet Sadala had been invaded by an alien race. This race ended up killing 70% of all Saiyans. When all seemed lost, a single Saiyan child raged, and alone, that child annihilated all enemies. That child was Krista. Even without belonging to the royal family, he was declared king. Afraid of an upcoming attack, he went to planet Namek, and with the help of the Dragon Balls, he asked for eternal life. Now he can protect Sadala forever. Vado's comments, that means Krista is a true hero of this planet. Kaba replies, yes, but unfortunately almost no one is aware of it. The population sees him as an arrogant and proud man, but in fact, all the changes that's happening on this planet, all the technology, upgrades, all the army organization, all the economic advancements, it's all thanks to him. Vados asks why Krista doesn't just tell the world the truth. Kaba explains, he doesn't like to attract attention. If this story were to spread across the universe, it could be very problematic, and many warriors could come to Sadala to face him and prove their strength. Krista doesn't want to put the planet and the people in danger, so he prefers to keep the secret. That's why no one saw him fight in many generations. Vado says that Krista seems to be a truly responsible king who truly cares about his people and his planet. Besides that, he's probably a very powerful king too. Kaba very proudly says, yes, King Krista is no doubt a great king and also a powerful warrior, but one second later, he's upset. Kaba says, he's without a doubt a legendary Saiyan and is very important to the history of our planet, but unfortunately, even his own daughter thinks the worst of him. Vados wonders about this daughter and asks Kaba about her. Kaba says, do you remember Kale, that Saiyan girl who participated in a tournament of power? Krista is her father. Vado says that Saiyan named Kale is very strong. So if Krista is her father and he is that legendary warrior who defeated an entire army when he was just a boy, he must be really amazing. Kaba agreed. Yes, he is amazing, but I'm realistic. No matter how powerful he is, Lord Goku is already at the level of a god of destruction, so I believe this battle won't last long. Suddenly, King Krista shouts, Here I come, Goku! Amazingly, the legendary King Krista was defeated with just a single blow. After this defeat of the king, even Kaba, who had already expected this result, was impressed. He says, this is unbelievable. Lord Goku's power is much higher than in the Tournament of Power. Vados, very proud, says that's obvious. After all, he's trained with her. And she is a much more interesting teacher than her brother. But she says that if that fight happened in the Tournament of Power, not even transformed into a Super Saiyan Goku would be able to win this fight. That affirmation surprises Kaba, who says, Wow, this is amazing. King Krista, who was defeated, stands up and says, Awesome, Goku. I didn't stand a chance. So this is the true power of a god of destruction? Or rather, so this is the potential of a Saiyan? Incredible, I never thought our race could reach this level. Goku, very excited, says, You're very powerful, Mr. Krista. To tell you the truth, I noticed that you didn't use all your power in this fight, so I hope someday I can see everything you have. So you noticed, you really are an interesting guy. Goku says goodbye to the king and asks Kaba where Kalifla was. Kaba decides to take Goku and Bottles to the warehouse where Kalifla was. Arriving at the warehouse, Goku asks Kaba that that's really where Kalifla was. It was a totally different place from all the rest of the planet. 
Kaaba responds by saying that Khalifla lives there along with Sadala's rebellious Saiyans. Basically, he explains that while he leads the king's army, Khalifla leads Sadala's criminal army. A Saiyan guard who is at the door walks up to them and asks who they are. Bottles responds by saying their name and that they are there to see Khalifla. The man tells them to wait and that he will ask Khalifla if she wants to see them. He goes inside the warehouse and when he gets close to Khalifla, he says that there are people waiting to see her. Khalifla, who is eating, says she didn't expect a visit and asks who it is. He says he's a blue girl named Vados and such a god of destruction. Khalifla wonders what Vados and Champa were doing there. She yells at the soldier that he shouldn't have kept them waiting and then orders him to let them in immediately. At that moment, Khalifla had no idea that in fact the god of destruction who was accompanying Vados was Goku. The Saiyan guard runs towards Vados and Goku. Arriving at them, he says that Khalifla was ready to speak with them and he apologizes for keeping them waiting. But Goku says it's okay. Khalifla, seeing that someone was coming, starts to apologize with Vados and Champa and promises that she'll give that idiot guard a punishment. But who answers her is Goku. It's okay, Khalifla, but my name isn't Champa. At that moment, Khalifla is absolutely shocked. Then, Episode 8 ends with Khalifla discovering that Goku is now Universe 6's new god of destruction.